And hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my Back to the Future episodes. Now, I was about to cancel this episode because I thought my TV wasn't going to work. And it did. So, sorry I had to cancel last week's video because again my TV wasn't working. I have to get this sorted out. But it goes, it keeps going back and forth from working to not working. Like it keeps, like sometimes it'll ask me about some password thing. And then sometimes it doesn't. So... Yeah, I'll try to get that figured out this week so then we can get back on a regular schedule. And I also decided, since I didn't release really any Back to the Future videos this month, barely any, only two, uh, I'm going to be doing, for the rest of next month, a Back to the Future series, too. And then after that month, I'll go back to Transformers. But, uh, yeah, it seems like you guys also really like the new recreation videos. And I'm glad you... Uh, give me a minute, guys. I just realized my controller's cover thing is the tape broke. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, I fixed it. I had to put more tape on because I, the, the original tape broke. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, that's about it for the updates. So, as always, pack proton packs, start your DeLoreans, and let's transform and roll out. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that just started playing. I want you guys to be able to catch all the dialogue, too, in this, so... Wednesday, May 14th, 1986. Okay, good. So it did save it properly. Here we go. I love filming the series. This probably this might possibly be my favorite series to film. It's also going to be one of the nicer ones, too, because you don't have to do much. Doc? Oh, that is loud. Turn that down. Jesus. You probably don't hear the button of me clicking it because I'm using a remote this time to turn it down. It's a lot nicer and a lot quieter, too. The quality is, was amazing back in back when I never for 60s. Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Turn that down. Jesus, it's loud. I'm not the only person in the house. Maybe if I was, I would have it that loud, but seriously, that loud, man. I'm loud. I'm done talking. I'll let you enjoy. Jesus, it's really bright for you guys. I'm seeing your screen. Uh, we're gonna go... A handle tape recorder. I've played this game before as well. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding yeah. success. I ain't gonna turn it on. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four-dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading. Sorry guys, last my cat's opened my door. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh oh jeez. Come on, come on. I think I'm gonna watch back the future tonight. Crap! Oh great. How am I supposed to find him now? You probably heard my dad saying turn it down in my background. That's probably what you heard. Hold on, I gotta go talk to him real quick. After an hour of talking, I'm just kidding. No, uh, why can't I? Oh, there we go. That's how I switch. Uh, we're gonna go time circuits. I had to talk to my dad for a second. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Uh, what happens if we go? I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. A lot of pointless. Okay, okay Doc. I know I haven't yeah. seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. No what? Ooh, I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Oh, are you serious? Well, once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date can into I, the time circuits. Can I skip? Well, once I know when to look for Doc. I thought they'd be two different things. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go B to exit the DeLorean, I guess. We'll, we'll take a quick look at it if it'll let me. Yeah, we'll take a quick look at the car. Here, how far can I go? Okay. We're gonna take a quick little peek at it. 
Look at this beast. Look at this beast of machine. Got this. So this is the second movie version. As you can see. And obviously the, he said to save me again. So I'm guessing this probably, yeah, yeah takes place after Back to the Future 3. So yeah, this must be what they call the temporal duplicate. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much a, 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 con, a concept I heard from a video that was labeled Back to the Future Part 4, and it's from a YouTuber you guys probably all know. I don't remember what he's called, but his logo is like a typewriter with two letters on it. But anyways, a temporal duplicate, as he said in the video, is, of course, something that is created during time travel that is an exact duplicate. And, um... Uh, Pretty much what happened was, the guy said in the video that when Doc got struck by lightning in the Back to the Future 2 scene at the end of the second movie, when he got struck by lightning in, in time travel, it created a temporal duplicate of the DeLorean and Dr. Emmett Brown. And he said he got that from the video game thing, or website. So, yeah. Let's go over to Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einstein? I, I, I don't speak dog. I don't speak furry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I know exactly what to do. I've played this game before. Here we go! What do you know about this, Shuiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Wow, really? Couldn't tell. This series is probably not going to be the most intense series. It's probably going to be the most relaxing series. If the music wasn't the way it was, this would be more relaxing. But with the music, it makes it seem a bit more intense. Also, that skateboard is way too brightly colored for this universe. I, I don't like okay, it Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe I'll make another recreation video for tomorrow. supposed to me to Doc? Probably I mean... not, but there's a chance. Maybe I'll make a trailer for some potential video. Because, yeah, you guys seem to actually... Hold on, let me say this real quick. You guys seem to love, and I mean love, the... Uh, I like that, that feature. No, I, you seem to love all of my recreation videos. You like my uh, little animation test things I made too about like stop motion and stuff. That was just for a video. I'm not ready to try doing that as an entire video. But you guys seem to also love the Back to the Future video I made. I swear to God, if you fucking judge me. Sorry, my throat hurts today. But if you judge me, I swear. I want you down to kill you. No, I'm kidding. And I kill him and I didn't for perfect. That's a reference to another YouTuber. I'll give you a second to guess. Okay, it was Jack Sepp to get. I'm, I'm joking. No, I'm not actually. But uh, yeah, let's continue. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? God, I hate that he says the same thing. Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? I feel like that's supposed to be a reference to the Up House movie because there were dog translators. Buzzer. What the? Wire store? Oh, liquor! God, I'm an idiot, guys. You can say it in the comments. I'm an idiot. That doesn't say Laguire. That says. No, it says liquor store. Buzzer. Yeah. Where are the other places? Step away from the door! Ah, make me. Now, bit. let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat! Uh, I'm not a hooligan. I brought me here. Oh, we're gonna try I'm all I'm not one. a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town? here brought me and well he's strickland you aren't related to uh vice principal strickland are you ma'am not that it's any of your business but i'm his sister edna oh and you're one of those mcfly slackers aren't you yes uh what's old man strick i mean what else has your brother been saying about me Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, Blacker. 
Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Uh, okay, I know exactly what to do. Here we go, shoe. Here we go, and no. There we go. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... I'm gonna step up closer to the camera so you guys can hear me better. I had to sit down for a few uh, minutes or seconds. My back hurts. I love how pristine her shoe is right there, but then the other one's older and just, just cracked. Leave that creature outside! The creature has a name, you bit. Sorry, Einstein. The door's gonna shut on its own, isn't it? Nope, I expected it to shut on its own. I think we'll go for 12 minutes this time. For this video. Is it gonna load already? Well, took you long enough. Excuse me? Um, what the, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Much better. So neat and orderly. Now I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. It's one of the most annoying lines she has in this entire game. Uh, have it. a seat, Sonny. Uncanny. If you guys get what I just said, if you didn't hear what I said, I said, uh, I'm gonna say, and I was like, hey, uncanny. You kid! Uh, it's a reference to an old show. Tell me in the comments below if you know it. I'll say it in the next video what it is. But, uh, I think we're gonna actually... Can we end it? Here? Yep. I think we're gonna end the episode here, guys. So, as always, I will see you in the next gaming video. Bye-bye!